Hello, I'm Hugh Hartzell. I haven't had a chance to meet too many of you on the board. I did want to show you what I do for a living. That's my drift boat. I'm a fly fisherman and I teach people how to fly fish. And right behind that are peach trees. I have a small peach orchard here. Just thought I'd show you that to get things started and we'll move into the woodland, into the woodlots. And we'll take a look at some of the plantings. We're looking back now the other way up one of the rows. You can see the pockmark of the light that's coming in. These rows are about 200 feet long and there's about 15 of them in this one planting right here in this one wood lot. Looking down one of the rows that I have cleared out here, this is probably one of the wider rows that I have here, and you can see a little bit of the debris or some of the understory that I have taken off. It's lined up and down the sides of each row. In this shot, you can see just a little bit as we look down the rows at some of the understory that has been kind of placed in a row. You can also see the pock mark of the lighting as it filters in. I'm going to take you on up to the upper part of the overstore here and show you. I'll scan around here. Right here is just a little bit of the companion plants that were in here. Uh, here's some baneberry, some fern. One or two other plants that I don't recognize quite as easily. And Right here is just a little bit of ginseng that's left in this one section, in this one woodlot. You can see it's wilting down and turning yellow. There was several rows of it right up through here. It's just about all gone now. I'm going to move over to the next woodlot and we'll take a look at it. Right here is a section in another woodlot that I have planted about half of. I'm going to walk up here just a little bit closer and you will see a old dead snag right here coming up. On the left of this I have already planted a uh, rake and scatter method. This section on the right has not been touched for about uh, 40 feet down to that larger tree on the right <clears throat> and I will try <clears throat> planting rootlets in that. I guess it's time to say goodbye to all of this for this year. It'll be going down in just a few days. Not too much left of it. You can see how it's yellowing. But it's nice three prong. I did want to show my root bed that I fixed up a few weeks ago. Uh, some of these roots were older ones that I got from Billy. Uh, Billy has been so good to supply people to get them started. Uh, there are five rows actually right here. Kind of hard to see them, but they do have, they are mounded just a little bit and they run for a pretty good distance. Ten of them are uh, large ones that Billy got me and 300 of them are smaller ones that I got. And they run right up through there. It 
It's about the end of them up there.